For this presentation, I'm going to talk to you about the anatomy of the anatomical snuff box and the relationship to a medical condition to called de Quervins. Now, if I look at my own hand here and I just lift my thumb up into like an extension motion, then it forms a space. And that space here is called the anatomical snuff box along here. And medically, the bone located deep in there will be the bone called the scaphoid, which is similar to the shape of the bone on a foot called the navicula. And if I fall on my arm like this, and the radius damages the scaphoid, so for instance, if I land and then this distal bone, the radius, presses onto the scaphoid, it can easily fracture it. So if you happen to have pain within the anatomical snuff box, it might indicate that you've damaged the scaphoid bone. Now, anatomically, this tendon, so medically this is relates to the thumb, so it's pollux. So I am lifting my thumb into extension. So this tendon here is known as extensor pollicis longus, just here. Then you've got the space in the snuff box. And then the tendon next to that, there's two there, even though you can't really see two, there's one obvious one. So that'll be extensor pollicis brevis, and adjacent to that will be one called abductor pollicis longus. Now, these two tendons in particular, okay, so the extensor pollicis brevis and abductor pollicis longus, just here, they cross the radial styloid process. And where those two tendons go through, they go through a conjoined sheath like this. And then what sometimes happens is, is that you get a thickening of the sheath around the two tendons. Now, this is actually called an opening, okay? So a, a, a vagina is called an opening. And where the two tendons are located, and it starts to narrow, you get a condition called a stenosin, tino, which is the tendon, vaginitis, because of the opening is being narrowed. So it narrows of the opening and then it starts to irritate. And then patients get pain around the distal part of the radial styloid. The condition is named after um, Fritz de Quervin, or de Quervin, depending on how you say the name. And it was named in 1895. So basically it's called de Quervin tino vaginitis is the true name. Some call it a tendinosis, which is fine. And where those tendons are irritated, that's where they get irritated within. There are a couple of tests. If I place my thumb into my palm and close and I do this, then it hurts. Then that might be a positive test. So that's called like an ulnar deviation. Now that actually is called the test of Ekoff, okay, because people call it the Finkelstein test, named after an American surgeon called Harry Finkelstein. But the Finkelstein is actually done passively. So if you as a therapist held my hand and you passively ulnar deviated, and it cause pain, then that would be a positive sign for de Quervins. And if I do it, okay, then that's actually the test of EGOF from there. So there's a little bit about the anatomical snuff box and the scaphoid, the relationship of the tendons, and also the medical name, as in de Quervin, and a couple of the tests that you can use for that. Thank you for watching the video.